There's plenty of snow to shovel at Professor Jose Luis Jimenez's Boulder, Colorado home. It's not a windy day, but if you follow my exhale there, very quickly it goes away. He studies how particles, the ones that carry coronavirus, move around in the air. Outdoors with social distance, it's pretty safe. But once it gets too cold and you go indoors, then you're breathing a lot of air from others. And that's a risky situation, right? When you're inside with a bunch of people and the windows are closed, everybody's breathing out two main kinds of particles. Droplets are similar to what comes out of a spray bottle. Those droplets quickly fall to the ground, but your lungs also produce a long lasting vapor similar to the fog that comes out of this fog machine, but you can't see it. And just like smoke, that aerosol seems to hang around for a while. If there is coronavirus in the aerosol somebody is breathing out, it can be very infectious for a very long time. To be infected very easily, you need to talk to someone close, right? And that's why they say, well, it's the droplets. And it's like, well, it's not the droplets, it's this smoke, it's these aerosols that really are getting us infected, right? According to the CDC, these much smaller particles that linger in the air for minutes to hours can and do transmit the virus in enclosed spaces with poor ventilation. But there is a solution. We can all get trained to keep everywhere ventilated this winter. There is a way to actually know if there are too many people stuffed in a room together by measuring the carbon dioxide they're all giving off. These CO2 monitors are about a hundred bucks online. So what if your favorite restaurant had that display right here in the door, 700 parts per million, you're fine to go in. 3,000 parts per million, you may want to skip it and get it to go. But what if those people are your family? What do you do about Thanksgiving this year? Well, it all depends on the weather where you live. In Texas, they can do Thanksgiving outdoors. Here, I doubt it, right? The more people you have inside with the windows closed, the greater the risk. In this year of dramatic changes, the drama continues as the snow starts to fall. In Boulder, Colorado, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.